my name is Pochai. You can call me Miss Pochai if you want. So again, I'm Pochai. For the adults, good morning as well. Good morning, adults. Good morning. Very good. Thank you very much. Welcome to the launch of Rice Book, the Rice Book for Kids, written by Miss Norma Chikiamko and of course published by Anvil Corporation. So this will be a fun-filled, hopefully, hour and a half, a fun-filled hour and a half wherein we will not only launch the book, but toward the end we will have storytelling sessions and games for the kids. Are you excited about that? What about for our adult friends? Are you also excited about that? Very excited! Yes, okay, that's good. So, to get started, let's get started with the day. Let me call on um, Mr. Gene Hattel. He is the head of the CP department CPS here at Erie, sir. Woo! Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hello, kids. Excited this morning? Okay. Well, on behalf of the International Rice Research Institute, uh, it is my distinct honor to welcome you here this morning to this important launching of the Rice Book for Kids by Norma Chibianco and published by Anvil Press right here in the Philippines. The area is pleased to be the locale for this uh, launching as well as the source of much of the information and many of the photos within the book's pages. Called Canon in Filipino, uh, Nazi in Indonesian and Malaysian, Gohan in Japanese, Bao in Korean, Mufan in Mandarin, uh, Rose in Spanish, uh, or 15 other names was pointed out in the book. Erie believed that it is important to get the message out to our young people uh, about the importance of rice. I think this book speaks to an important audience. Uh, as future consumers, producers, or even as scientists working to improve the crop, we needed to get kids excited about rice, like you guys right here. The book's 32 pages uh, are loaded with facts about rice, uh, how it is an important part of our culture, how it is processed, and what it takes to produce the crop. All written in simple, easy to follow style, in addition to some yummy recipes and creative illustrations by uh, Martin uh, Malabanan, uh, aid in introducing rice to our younger audience. More than 26,000 people visit Erie annually, and more than 17,000 of these, 66%, are students. And, uh, many, and many of these uh, students are elementary age, uh, like uh, our guest here today, represented by the Brent International School right here on campus, and the local Christian School International, and the Bagong Salong Elementary School. So welcome to all of you this morning. Uh, with so many kids who are the target audience of this book, Visiting Erie, I'm sure that the initial 100 copies consigned by the bookstore next door uh, will not be staying on the shelves for very long. So welcome again to all of you. Uh, let's get on with the launch. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Hethel. Again, Mr. Jean Hethel is the head of the Communication and Publication Services of the International Rice Research Institute. Kids, would you like to give Mr. Hethel a round of applause? Come on, a little louder. You can do better than that. Very good. Thank you very much. Let's continue, shall we? Of course, again, the book is The Rice Book for Kids. Um, again, it's written by Miss Norma Chikiamko, and it is available at the bookstore. So hopefully, after the day, you'd if you'd like to purchase a book and if you'd like the author to have it signed as well, please feel free to visit our bookstore. Okie dokie? Alright, so let's continue. Of course, this lovely book would not happen if not for our author. But to introduce our author, let me call on Miss Karina Bolaxko. She is the Assistant General Manager of Anvil Publishing. Let's please give her a round of applause. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Uh, this is the rice book that we are launching today. Um, this is actually a first because most of the children's books are story books, right? Uh, story books are read to you or you read them and they are fully illustrated. There's lots of pictures, nice pictures. So what we tried to do 
uh, at Anvil is to produce a book that would tell you, that would give you information, not necessarily a story, but different sets of information about something that's so common that we take it for granted, right? Do you all eat rice? Yes! Okay, and sometimes we take it for granted because it's every day, it's there on the table, but we don't know how it is grown, where it comes from, how old, how many people are eating rice, how long have we been eating rice. All these questions about rice will be answered by this book. And we worked with an, aside from the author who did the text, we worked with an illustrator to make this more interesting for children. Okay, so uh, it's a combination of photographs and art by the illustrator. And this is a first because we'd like to be able to also uh, make children interested in research. You know what research means? Really? What does research mean? Anybody? Huh? Research. What do you do when you research? Look okay, you find out more about... Oh, yeah, you're raising your hand. Justin. Justin. Yeah, Come on, yeah, go Justin. Your idea of research is. Go Justin. Good boy. Like when you need to find out about something. Yes. Yeah. What do you do when you need to find out about something? You read or go to the internet? Okay. You read or go to the internet or Google. <laughs> to add something to that? Boy was raising his hand. Okay. So we want you also, as early as possible, we want children to also learn to find out things about things for themselves because normally you just ask a question and you hope that the adult around you would tell you the right things right but if you know how to do it yourself then that makes you more Hello. independent and critical you develop also critical skills in the process so we don't want only stories or storybooks for the imagination we also want books that will help encourage research and critical skills in children, okay? So at this point, I would like to introduce the author who painstakingly did the research for this and a lot of it, understandably, was done here at Erie because this is the International Rice Research Institute. And uh, she, uh, we go a long way back, we've done food books, she ran the food magazine. She started it and ran it for over 10 years, I think about 12 years. And she still writes for the Philippine Daily Inquirer and makes recipes that are featured in the newspaper. So this is painstaking research and written in a manner that children will understand. So let me call our author, our star for this morning. She's behind me here. Norma Chikyamko. Thank you, thank you. Um, first of all, I would like to thank Iri and the officers and staff for hosting this book launching here in uh, the premises in this very beautiful Cary Gardens. It is such an honor and a privilege to be here and to be with the scientists who are so well renowned, like our national scientist, Dr. Vergara, who is here now and he acknowledges present. And of course, uh, Jean Hetel and all our other uh, scientists who are here. And of course, the children for whom I wrote this book. Um, thank you also to Anvil for having the faith in me uh, that they trusted me to come up with a book that's both informative and entertaining. Uh, I think, uh, children, you would like to know more about rice. So do you know uh, what how many of you know what are the different colors of rice? No? Okay. Yes? Yes? What others? Yes. Yes, correct. And? Brown? Yes. Red, correct. Yes. Brown? Yes. 
Okay. Yeah, correct. But do you know that there's also black? There's also black rice. And there's also violet rice. Purple. Yeah, purple rice. You know, like the color of um, ube. You know ube? The purple yang. Yeah, we have rice that color also. So rice comes in the different colors of the rainbow. No? Just like people. So anyway, yes. Orange yes, orange color, yes. You know how also uh, orange, when you put uh, herbs in it, the white rice becomes orange. You paint orange, yeah, very nice. Yes. Red rice. And what other color? Yes. Yes. Um, see, uh, so there are many, but have you eaten those different colors of rice? You have? Have you eaten the purple rice? Yeah, it's good, no? And sometimes you make it into uh, rice cakes. Yeah, you know. Yes. That brown rice is very good for the health. Blue? I have not blue seen rice. blue rice, but maybe we can make a bur Maybe Erie can make blue rice <laughs> next time. I eat white rice. Fried rice. rice. Ah, white rice, yes. That's also good. And I see my mom eat yellow rice. Yellow rice, great. And what kind of rice do you like? White and yellow rice, yes. And yellow. yellow rice. That's great. And do you know sometimes rice can be sweet? It can also be um, savory, can be salty, it can be spicy. If you put ketchup, if you put chilies, it can be spicy. Yes? Ampau. You know that? It's called ampau. It has like sugar. Yeah. Okay, anybody else? Over here. Kids? Yeah. Anyway, so now you're going to get to try different a different kind of rice. Do you know that rice is also made from uh, into flour? So with this rice flour you can make cakes, cookies, and later you'll be able to try polvoron made from rice. Have you tried polvoron? Do some of you know polvoron? Yeah. Okay, I made some for you now. You can try it in cups. It's uh, polvoron cups, but instead of the usual flour, we use rice flour and brown sugar. So you'll be able to try all of that. Okay? So now, Later on, we will have games, and some of you can win prizes. Uh, you want to join in the games also? Yes. Yeah. So you can win prizes also. How about you guys? You haven't told me what kind of rice you like to eat. Anong kind of rice? Brown rice? White. White? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. That's good enough. So, uh, and I hope you will enjoy the rest of the program. Later on, we will have also games and storytelling. Miss Pocha here is very good in telling stories to children. So now, she, let her begin her stories. <laughs> 